I'm trying to see you focus on me Honestly, I'm a notice You got a whole lot of tension You just need to blow up Got a body you can show off Show off to just me You ain't no microwave shoddy Whole lot of pressure Yeah You're expensive Take all my time, yeah. Running red free, and the price went up. I need you to tell me if you're worth the heartache now. Taking inside, stuck in your pride. Tell me what you want, tell me what you need. Me wasted so still got me tattooed in your choke. I'm trying to see you focus on me. Honestly, I'm a notice. You got a whole lot of tension, you just need to blow up. Got a body you can show off, show off to just me. You ain't no microwave shoddy, whole lot of pressure. Yeah. You're expensive, take all my time You're running red free, and the price went up Hey beautiful people and welcome back to my channel My name is Yulandi, if you are joining us for the first time And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back so welcome to a weekly vlog it is sunday and i thought you know what let me start this vlog on a sunday so that you guys can get like a good amount of footage for this week so i've started the vlog today church was amazing lunch was amazing and i am back home now it's already sunday afternoon so it's about four o'clock and um, I'm just going to start with my reset routine. Firstly, I just want to relax a bit and then I will start with my reset routine and just unwinding and getting myself ready for the next week. I hope you guys enjoy this vlog and if you are new here, please do consider subscribing towards the end of the vlog. And yeah guys, welcome to a weekly vlog. <laughs>
drinking, yeah, and won't you set it down? Hopes I don't you let him down. I know you feel the tension, baby. One night to forever now. Eyes locked when I walk in. Two step to the Uber, baby. Go ahead, bring your best friend. Why the bed make it feel so wavy? This pressure makes diamonds. No questions for me till the night ends. One dance, one dance. I want you next to me. Okay, I hope you guys can see me. Hey, beautiful people. It is a Monday afternoon. It is currently 1616. Yay! As for catching the angel numbers, child. Okay. It is 16 minutes past four right now. And my workday has pretty much ended. Um, it's been a busy one, I must say. I had a couple of things on my to-do list for today, so I managed to take that off. I'm very grateful for that. It is exceptionally cold today, so I am so proud of myself for what I have achieved today. I also filmed a, a piece of me actually getting in my car. Well, not getting in. I was in my car trying to go sort out my personal laptop while well, APD's laptop and i have been struggling with my microsoft so i got that sorted so now i'm back in business it's been like a week of struggling with it so i need to still do some apd work towards the latter part of tonight but for now i'm done with work i want to eat because i haven't really eaten today and i also want to watch a vlog just while i unwind and kind of get my mind out of the work day and then after that um i mean i've got load shedding at six o'clock unfortunately so i would like to watch tv and complete that vlog before then so that when six o'clock hits then you know i can start working on apd stuff because i genuinely just need my laptop and my dongle so that i can be online but yeah that is me for today today has been a very um, productive day i must say and um i worked out this morning which was amazing i wanted to go to the gym today however because of this weather child unfortunately i was not going to walk to the gym from my apartment um that's not going to happen <laughs> so we'll try again tomorrow but if it still rains again tomorrow i'll continue doing grow with joe because grow with joe is also amazing workouts so yeah but i definitely want to go back to the gym um it's winter so i'm not doing hot go walks as much and i'm also not doing a lot of runs so yeah that is where you will catch me and i definitely need to get back to training with weights again because child i feel like i lost a lot of muscle definition i was actually looking at a picture of me from i don't know 20 i think it was 2014 2015 and child i was like defined i'm going to try to look maybe i can leave the picture here but like my muscles were so defined also i mean i was back then i was a varsity netball player so we used to train like almost not even almost we trained every single day except fridays and i used to actually lift and i actually used to work out with proper things you know i used to squat with like at the squatting rack you know so um i just want to get the muscle um formation back and tone up a bit so that my muscles are visible again so yeah but enough about my workout chat let's go watch a vlog octavia posted a vlog yesterday so i want to watch that and i want to eat as well i'm trying to see a focus on me 
Honestly, I'ma notice You got a whole lot of tension You just need to blow up Got a body you can show off Show off to just me You ain't no microwave shoddy Whole lot of pressure Yeah You're expensive Take all my time Yeah Running red free And the price went up I need you to tell me If you're worth the heartache now Take it inside Stuck in your pride Tell me what you want Tell me what you need Take more than I can feed off. You got me wasted so Tattooed in your chokehold I'm trying to see you focus on me Honestly, I'm a notice You got a whole lot of tension You just need to blow up Got a body you can show off Show off to just me You ain't no microwave shoddy Whole lot of Good morning guys, it's a brand new day I'm trying to figure out what do I want to smell like today. Maybe this. I have started dabbling into Arabic perfumes and this is like literally one of them. Um, my cousins sell these. I'm about to actually pick up another one. So, oof, this one. <sighs> like... The sun is very um, sweet, but like it makes you smell like, like um, it's giving me, she's got her life together. Like she seriously has got her life together. And the one thing I love about these Arabic perfumes is the fact that like the packaging is just so pretty. I mean, look at the detail guys, like how pretty is this? I love this so much. I've got a couple of them. Um, I'll show you guys maybe when I collect my fourth one um, today. Then I'll maybe give you guys like a run through. But yeah, like I said, it's a new day. Um, the morning started all very well. I went to the gym, guys. I feel so good. It feels so good to be back to strength training. I know I'm going to hurt tomorrow. Like my body's going to hurt. But at least I did stretch down so hopefully that goes all okay today is fairly busy on our to-do list firstly i've got class now where's my watch oh my watch is still there <laughs> i've got class now at 10 o'clock till 12 o'clock my power is only coming back at half past 10 so like i hope my little dongle is strong enough for today so i've got class from 10 o'clock till 12 o'clock after that i quickly want to step out go to postnate to go pick up my fourth perfume and then to go buy some groceries because there's absolutely nothing in my house and i need to feed myself obviously tomorrow is an office day so i'm trying to cook something up tonight and then I've got this career presentation that I need to prepare. So I did like a five-year plan. I'm talking to my mentor on Friday. So I would like his opinion in terms of my plan. And then I also have APD consultations later today. Two, if I'm not mistaken. Um, one for a cover letter and a CV revamp and then the other one is for more like a career coaching so i'm starting to think of adding that onto my price list as well or my list of services career coaching because a lot of people actually reach out to me and they like listen i actually need some guidance in terms of like my career what should i do next and stuff like that so i am going to add that to my price list but more as a career direction conversation up until i've completed my career coaching life coaching uh certificate so that is up in line but yeah guys that is the to-do list for today um let's have a good one
I'm back from the shops and this is what I got. Quick grocery haul. I got some eggs because I have been craving eggs for some reason. I got black peppercorns. I've got two lemon juices for my green tea. I got the sweet and sour gherkins. I got some lettuce and I also got some beetroot as well as fresh produce spinach. Reason why I need to eat a bit more of spinach is because I am iron deficient. And yeah, <laughs> I need to eat those. I've been drinking iron pills as well. And let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. They've been working. Okay, let's get into the perfume. Okay, let's talk about the perfumes. So I've been dabbling into Arabic perfumes because my cousin sells them. Also, when it comes to scents, I love trying everything. Literally on this little console or whatever it is, a uh, little stand, they are different types of perfumes, okay? From um, original perfumes to like dupes and stuff. So the Arabic ones are more of the dupes. Yeah. Let's talk about the first one I tried from him. And this is like my ultimate favorite perfume. Okay, cool. So this one is finished as you guys can see. Um, and I mean, this one is still fairly full. So this is like legit my favorite scent right now. So the one that I have in my hand is the Arabic Dupe. The original is called baccarat rouge and what i'll do is i'll try to leave like a screenshot of the original and basically like yeah this is the dupe um the original is baccarat rouge 540 the original price is about i think about 4.3 4.4 and this one is barakat rouge 540 it looks exactly the same the name is different but it smells Oh, <laughs> guys, guys, this, this, this perfume. Yeah, this thing smells expensive, like expensive. By all means, the original is very expensive. Cool, that's the first one, right? Then the other day, I bought these two. These aren't dupes. Um, these are just like Arabic perfumes. This is called Aventos for her. I love the bottle. This smells very good as well. And then this one, I can't really pronounce. Fakar Latafa. This is the one that I put on this morning. And as soon as this thing hits the sun, it's game over for whoever's standing next to me. Like, it's so strong. The thing about these Arabic perfumes is... Oh, um... I think both of them were also I paid 700 rand for both of them so about 350 then um the only thing about these perfumes they are oil based so you can't really spray them like on white clothes so if you're wearing like white clothes you should rather spray them like on your body then guys Shalina this is the one that I just picked up right now so my girl Shalina is the dupe of the perfume de Marley Delina Exclusive. Do you guys know Delina Exclusive? If you follow a lot of like influences on you. Wow. Okay. Okay, wait. If you follow like a lot of influ influences on YouTube, a lot of influencers actually use the um, Delina exclusive. I mean, I remember if you guys watch Octavia, I watch Octavia. Octavia uses the scent and she only uses it for like exclusive events when she goes to like events, nice, nice events. And then I know Zizi. Zizi also absolutely loves this perfume. So I'm going to do a scent test with you guys it smells incredibly great just as i opened it it smelled great already very potent it's giving very um it's giving summer scent i'm not a perfume expert so i won't be able to tell you that it's woody it's fruity it's uh, no no 
This one cost me, okay, this bottle is not that great. But I mean, what they also try to do is for the bottles to look similar to the original one. So I'll put the um, Delina exclusive bottle somewhere on the screen as well. This one cost me 380 bucks. And the original price of this, well, of the Delina exclusive is about 4.8 thousand rand. I'm not spending that much money on a perfume, okay? Like, if I can smell uh the same for a fraction of the price why not so okay let's do taste of this girl okay currently i smell like um the fakar my god let's do a taste here jesus christ Oh my god, <laughs> guys! Like I'm not, like I'm not even exit. I'm. Not, oh my god, I get it. I get why they're going on like that. Like I'm not even exaggerating. This smells divine. <gasps> I'm gonna wear this to the office tomorrow. Okay. One thing about these these um, Arabic perfumes, they're strong as hell. They last very long as well. Like, you guys would swear that I'm selling these things myself. <laughs> but I'm a big stan. I'm a big stan of these Arabic perfumes because you know what? They smell exceptionally well. They're potent. And they smell. you smell good the entire, entire day. But the new girl is a towel. Hey, okay, let me give you guys a close up look. Got a drink in your hand, would you set it down? Hope so, don't you let him down. I know you feel the tension, baby. One night to forever now. Eyes lock when I walk in. Two step to the Uber, baby. Go ahead, bring your best friend. Why the bad make it feel so wavy? This pressure makes diamonds. No questions for me till the night ends. One dance, one dance. I want you next to me. Two hands, two hands. The perfect recipe. Don't rush romance. Your body's all I need. One dance, one dance. I want you next to me. yeah like where do i even start okay it's thursday firstly <laughs> yeah it's just one of those days matter of fact it's actually just one of those weeks like it's it has been an insanely busy week and my work hang on let me close this door but my job has come to a point where i have so many meetings in my calendar and unfortunately i'm double booked and i need to decide which ones i want to attend and which ones i can't attend so yeah you know what i was about to re remove my bonnet but child, it's just been a crazy week, okay? <laughs> Today has been so wild. Um, it is quarter to three right now. I've got a meeting at three o'clock. Just to show you guys how insane today was. It's quarter to three. I just came out of the shower. Like, I only showered now, guys. It's been such a crazy day. Filled with meetings. Filled with having to go through my studies quickly. Um, filled with tasks talking to people it's just been a lot it's been a lot but i just showered now i said i'm not going to show my face up until i showered because i want to be fresh and i want to stand in front of you guys 
and I want to smell good even even though you guys can't smell me and I'm not smelling like anything so what are we smelling like today I like to use this Aventos for um as a home scent to be honest with you guys because I just feel like it's not really like my scent scent that i will use when i go out so i use this on a daily basis almost but yeah guys i've got a meeting now at three o'clock uh it's not my last meeting unfortunately which is very sad i think all my meetings end at four i've got a three to three thirteen then i've got a three thirty to four o'clock so yeah i can't wait for this day to end to be honest with you guys like i can't i can't even lie like i just want it to end okay it's been a crazy day also we're on stage six load shedding child this morning my power went out at eight o'clock i thought my power was going to come back at 10 30 and 10 30 i'm like yo what's up what's happening ask him like can we talk and then i saw no my power is only coming back at 12 30 i was like damn child it's messy today you know and then i looked at my schedule now my power is going off at four o'clock up until half past eight how are they giving me two four hour and a half slots in one day i wanted to scream i so feel like screaming okay so that means that while i'm in my meeting i need to make sure like right now i made sure everything is charged before i went into that shower it's like everything needs to be charged okay so everything is charged um while i'm attending my meetings i need to make sure that i warm up my food so yeah yeah you see those two little things that i showed you got those rye breads that's the only thing that i've eaten for today and then um i need to warm up my food at four make sure that i at least eat after that meeting so that i have some warm food you know so there's a lot going on today i do apologize for not vlogging much but i also think like this vlog is coming to an end very slowly but surely i probably will end it tomorrow um for the rest of the night what i need to still get up to is attend those meetings or the day rather attend those meetings um there's a couple of things on my to-do list as well but i mean when it's load shedding it's just so difficult to get things done because majority of my stuff require me to actually be on the internet but you guys will hear in the background right now i'm washing my bedding because can you guys see this and i'm trying to i hope you guys can see the mess that is going on in my face right now i realized that this is a new bonnet right and maybe the star of the show wanted to be seen but this is a new bonnet and i spray my hair with a specific mixture and it's an oil-based mixture so i think it hits the bonnet and then it penetrates through the bonnet onto my pillow and i think there were like oils gathering on my pillowcase and this that is what caused it because i sleep on the side most of the times so like there is a line of acne yeah i hope you guys can see it can you guys see it child if you can't that's good but there is a entire acne busyness i don't know what the hell is going on child yeah and i need to take care of it tonight like i'm going to put on my the ordinary mask and hopefully that will like just like let it fade away or something okay let's go sometime next week okay okay guys thank you bye bye hey guys it is 20 minutes past four and i am about to end my day I decided that I'm going to end my day slightly earlier today because you know what? I have just been feeling some type of way in terms of really like the rush and the chase and always wanting to be busy. I don't know whether you saw my Instagram post yesterday when I went to the office, but like I said in the morning that I actually drove to the Hadrian station Let's switch this. 
actually let me switch this thing off <clears throat> let me switch off my laptop right now <sighs> shut down yeah shut down yeah cool okay so what i wanted to say was i just feel like i am currently in a place where i just want calm i just want peace i don't want drama i don't want the rush i just want to enjoy the present moment and i really just want to tap out if my brain is telling me to tap out you know so yesterday i shared on my instagram that i got to the heart train station slightly earlier and i mean i was in time for three trains that i could have caught you know but because i made coffee for myself in the morning and i thought i was going to finish this coffee on my way to the car train station while driving i mean i didn't finish it when i got to the car train station and i just got there and i was like yeah but like we in this we in this whole phase right now where we just feel like we're not rushing anything in life okay so sit drink your coffee take in the sun uh breathe in some fresh air and go take the last train that you can take as long as you make sure that you are at the office by 8 30 when you have your first meeting and that's exactly what i did and you know what i was just so much calmer in my commute to work and also my commute from work i didn't even mind yesterday staying at the office slightly longer because you know what it was a good day because it started off in a good way but i think sometimes what we tend to do is we tend to want to always rush everything whether this is in life in general whether this is at work whether this is from a healing perspective we tend to rush everything so much that we forget to jo enjoy the present moment one thing that i also say to my friend the other day is that i am someone that sets a goal for myself i reach that goal but i i don't celebrate that milestone it's almost like i get to that goal and then i'm like okay that is done what's next you know and it's not a good space to operate from so i've said to myself i really just want to be a bit more present and i really just want to be a bit more mindful of the moment that i'm in so i've started doing like little stuff like for instance when i insert a usb cable i make sure that it's the right the right side and not the wrong side so it's just small little mindfulness practices that i've been doing and it's been really helping me with my anxiety it's been really helping me with just being in a bit more of a calmer state so right now, I mean, five o'clock is normally knockoff time, but I've decided that today I just want to knock off a bit earlier because I feel like today was just such an intense day on my mental health. Like I feel very heavy right now and I just want to, you know, find some form of release before the night starts because otherwise i'm going to struggle to sleep tonight and i'm just going to overthink everything that took place today because rightfully so there's a lot that took place so that is what i'm going to do but i think this was just like a reminder you know for you guys to also maybe just slow down a bit um be very present in the moment that you are in and just be aware of what's happening around you right now what's going on around you right now and just appreciate the moment that you are in or the life phase that you are in right now so yeah guys i'm going to do some stuff that um, is going to make me feel a bit lighter for the rest of the day and then i am going to greet you guys and say goodbye because i do feel like tomorrow is slightly a busy day and there's not going to be much to vlog also i just think i need one day off at least <laughs> you know out of the week um, from filming and yeah i also just want to always make sure that i 
come to this platform with the right type of energy and i don't think tomorrow i'll be able to give you guys the energy that i want to but yeah thank you so much for continuously supporting my channel please don't forget to subscribe if you are new here and also hit that notification bell so that you are at least reminded when i do post a new video love and light we will chat in the next one bye